You'll know you're thinking like a UX researcher when you become generally more miserable with life. You'll find you complain about those things that most people just accept as part of living in the modern age. Here's some examples. This picture shows a toilet door on a Virgin Railways train. Imagine that you've come to use this toilet because you want some privacy. You arrive, you've opened the door on the outside, and when you step inside, this is the control panel you're meant to use in order to close the door behind you. Quickly, which button would you press? Most people say they would press the top button to close, but they tend not to read the rest of the instructions. How unusual is that? The door closes behind them, but the door actually isn't locked. So what tends to happen is someone on the other side of the door presses the open door button and you're revealed a bit like a, a prize on a game show. Here's another example of that. Support code 311. Printer is in use or an error has occurred. If an error has occurred, eliminate the cause of the error. Well, if you're thinking like a UX researcher, you realise this isn't my fault, this is your fault. Canon, it's a stupid error message. Oh, here's another example I was sent recently from a colleague. Uh, it comes from an online banking site. You're cancelling a payment. Are you sure you want to cancel this payment? No cancel. Yes, proceed. It's the system that's stupid, not me. Uh, let me show you another example. When I did actually feel daft at the time when this was put together, um, this was a car park payment machine at a railway station. Um, and I really struggled with this the first time I came across it. I wasn't too sure where I should put my ticket. I wasn't too sure where I should put my credit card. I felt confused by the process. And I went back afterwards and took a photograph of it. I kind of do this as a way of dealing with the situation. Um, and I took the photo and then looked at it and realised, oh, it's as easy as one, three, two. And as a final example, uh, this comes from Amazon. And I uh, came across this example for toilet tissues, I thought this was curious because it shows you that even the microcopy that you write is important. Charmin One Ply Premium Bathroom Tissue, 352 shees <clears throat> Anyway, um, you really know you're thinking like a UX researcher when you start changing designs, not just moaning about them. Here's an example from legendary British designer and co-founder of IDEO, Bill Mugridge. He had his parents' house sit and he knew from experience that they'd struggle with his TV remote controls. So he redesigned them. When you find yourself doing this, you're really thinking like a UX researcher. Although I've said that it leads you to complain more often, another thing you'll notice about UX researchers is that in the main, they love their job. Going to work is fun. There's a good reason for that. There are a few jobs that give people a chance to change the world. I don't know about you, but I worry about the waste in the world. If your house is anything like mine, it's full of shit that you don't need. Things you bought that you thought would be useful, but turned out to be useless. Things you never use, or at least don't use enough to justify their purchase. Waste. It's the soundtrack to our generation. And it continues. At this very moment, millions of people across the world, maybe even you, are pouring their hearts and souls into the new product they're developing and those ideas once launched are going to flop miserably. And that's because most new ideas fail. But it's really hard predicting market success. Remember Juicero, $120 million of venture capital funding identified it as a winner, but it flopped. And some crazy ideas, like the way Twitter was initially received, turn out to be spectacular successes. The great thing about UX research is that it prevents waste. It's the closest thing we have to a crystal ball. It stops companies shipping products that add no value. It's a way to make the world a slightly better place and a way to enjoy getting up for work in the morning. I hope you find our book useful and that it helps you prevent some of this waste.